Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This Sunday, we're beginning a new sermon series titled, Why Jesus from the Heart of a Friend. We're gonna explore this uh, small book of the Bible as we see how one of Jesus' closest friends, Peter, how he, after the years of maturity and leadership in the church and having walked with Christ, for uh, much of his life, now is directing those in the various places throughout the world, those who are followers of Christ. And basically, one of the themes that comes through is to keep going in what we might call the in-between times, the time in between Jesus' first coming, his birth in Bethlehem, and then his second coming, where he'll return one day to the fulfillment of his kingdom, Peter says we're in between those two times, so how should we live? The reality is there's much suffering that Christians face, persecution that they face, and much of it is relevant today. So I look forward to exploring this small but important book of the Bible with you. You know, thinking about in between times, uh, graduation is happening right now or in a couple weeks. And so we're kind of in between in these summer months uh, when one school year ends and the other one hasn't yet begun. And so what's happening in Bethany in the in-between times? Well, Sunday school has been meeting for adults, but beginning in June, the children and youth and nursery will begin, so we're excited about that. We're looking to the month of July for our vacation Bible school, and that will be happening. Also, the youth are taking a CIY, and our food ministry continues to grow and develop and is helping us to engage in the lives of the surrounding community. And so I hope this finds you well and encouraged. Be encouraged as together we move forward, just as Peter said to those churches long ago, I recognize it's not always easy, but with Jesus, it's worth it. In fact, let me close by reading you a verse from 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. He says this, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade, kept in heaven for you. So just like our forefathers and mothers of long ago, may you be encouraged to live with that living hope from the God of all creation, finding life and encouragement in Jesus Christ. Blessings to you. I look forward to seeing you soon.